Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear, uh, and I build model kits and Lego sets. And uh, you watch them, and you talk in the chat room if you're watching live. If you're watching later on YouTube, hello and welcome. Uh, hello! Urbina is here. Uh, Harold is hosting, which is awesome. I'm throwing the Bear Cave emote in there. If you were a subscriber, throw the Bear Cave emote in the chat. Let people know what the deal is. Robot Crank is here throwing the Bear Cave emote in there. Very great. Harold throwing the Bear Cave emote along with the H-bomb in there. Thank you for that, Harold. Um, right off the bat, I'll mention it a couple times in the stream probably, but if you are a subscriber that uses your Twitch coin with your Twitch Prime, you got to manually resubscribe, and you want to resubscribe before Saturday's stream, because Saturday is the last regular stream in the month, and I will be giving away two Lego sets. That's right. Uh, I'm going to look them up right now. Uh, hello, Lem. Welcome. Or Aim. Uh, I believe Lem is correct. Uh, lowercase L. Hello. Uh, I'm going to look this up right now. Um, let's see. Well, I'm giving away two Lego sets. They were small little Lego sets that I built, and I'm going to give them away to one subscriber. And my subscriber lottery that I do every month. Uh, it is the Yoda Lego Starfighter and the Darth Vader Transformation. Now, the Darth Vader Transformation is the first Lego set we ever did that wasn't a vehicle. It's the first time we ever did a play set. And it's one of the only ones. I think we've only done two that were play sets. Uh, so it's kind of the, uh, it's a first. And uh, they're small kids, so I'm going to give them away. Uh, that's on Saturday, so if you're not a subscriber, it's time to get on board. And if you're a lapsed one, maybe time to come back. I, I benefit greatly from subscribers. It is uh, how this channel continues, uh, and it's awesome when people are able to do it. So if that's something you're able to do, jump on board. Uh, Zorbs, hello! Good to see you, Zorbs. Thank you for joining me here in the chat. We're waiting a couple minutes for a few more folks to join us before we get into the building process. Uh, we're working on the heavy arms. We started that last Friday, because last Saturday I did not stream, so I did a Friday night stream. And so that means it's been six days since I built anything. So when we left off with the heavy arms custom, the high grade from uh, Gundam Wing uh, Endless Waltz, I had the legs done, and I had one arm done. And I started doing my warm-up, and I completed this. Harold is using uh, Tier 1 sub, subscribed nine months in a row. Thank you so much for that, uh, Harold. Nine months is awesome. Thank you very much for supporting the stream. Um, uh, yeah, so I built this arm just while I was waiting for the stream to start. So, you know, I like to do a little bit of warm-up, but it was good because I got some sticker work done. And uh, uh, you can see that there. I got some sticker work done, which is good because uh, these were a little annoying. There's still more stickers. Um, now, for folks, you can't see any of the stickers because they're green, so you can't even really see. It, literally, these stickers make this see-through. That's fucking kind of cool. Um, but uh, please remember, please understand, these are green stickers. Um... Yeah, so this is a high grade. So even though I'm, I'm a sticker adverse, I'm trying to do stickers because it really makes this kit pop, um, including the head, which has green eyes, which won't be visible, but I put stickers for the eyes. It's important. Road, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me in the chat. Um, my voice is going a little bit, so I might turn up the volume and try to cut back a little bit because it feels like I'm straining my voice. So I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit, cut back on my volume there. If it becomes annoying, please let me know. I'm going to take a little water. Uh, my allergies are kicking in. They are kicking in real bad, and it really sucks. I'm trying not to let it bother me, but it is bothering me pretty great, uh, pretty much. So I'm trying to be cool, but yeah, it's, uh, it's hitting me. Lashbrook, hello and welcome. Thanks for throwing the cave emote in there. All right, we got 10 people here. That's already a great number. Let's get to building. Let's do this thing. So, we are working on the heavy arms. Um, and I'm very excited to do that. You can see all the components here. We got two arms. We got two legs. We got lots of uh, rockets ready to shoot out from the arms and legs. 
Uh, one of the things I love about this kit is the skirt, the side skirt, pops out, and there are even missiles on the side, which is great. Uh, don't talk as much if you can't keep yourself feeling well. Uh, I, I I understand, Road. I agree, and I agree with you. Um, my current my voice kind of strained a little bit comes from one talking all day, um, outdoors, and two just the general weather. Uh, I'm going to take it very easy tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day where I have uh, zero things planned. So my goal is to just recuperate, rest my voice, hopefully not talk to people unless I have to. Um, but otherwise, just kind of keep it cool and chill. Um, all right. So we are working on the head of our heavy arms. I'm excited about that. Um, my folks were in town today. My parents retired to South Carolina and um, they were in Connecticut visiting family. Uh, relatives of mine and friends of theirs and then took the train into New York today and we spent the day together. It was very nice. Yeah, but uh, I appreciate that road. Thank you. Yeah, I talked a lot, you know, with them. We were outdoors. It was great. We went, Oh, so I cheated on my diet. Trying not to do that, but when you go out to lunch and my parents want to go to a very nice Italian restaurant because they miss very good Italian because they don't have it in the town they live in. Uh, we went to very good Italian and I got meatballs and uh, penne. It was very good. I got, I took the meatballs home. I didn't take the leftover penne home because uh, pasta is not good on my diet, but meatballs are probably not the best thing on my diet, but they're still meat. Uh, and I had that for dinner tonight. I had one of the meatballs with some of my other vegetables and stuff. And it was real good reheated. So I was happy about that. I got one more meatball for tomorrow. And these are big-ass meatballs. I'm telling you right now. Carmine's. Carmine's. They, they're in various places across the country. I went to the one on 44th Street with my folks because they really like that place. And it was very good. All right. So... Yeah, it was uh, a fantastic meal, and great to see my folks. I was really happy to be able to do that. Uh, I love them to death, so it was. And I see them, this year I'll see them um, three times, because uh, I've already seen them twice, including today, and then I'll go see them for Christmas. So that's the most I've seen them uh, since they moved, and it was really nice. Really nice to catch up. All right, so... We have a bit of a decision here uh, about the face that we're going to put on our heavy arms. So we have options. We have the standard face, which I will show you in a second. I'm going to clip it, clip off this little gunk extra. Um, oh, sorry. Try that. Okay, so. We have the standard face, which I'll show here, and then I'll show here. Standard face, white, uh, chin is blue, the same teal. And then we also have this face, which it's it's hard to see because they're both white. But he's wearing a mask, and it's impossible to see. The best thing I can do is show you what it looks like if it was colored in. So if I painted it, or someone painted it, it would look like that. You can see in the artwork there in the middle. That's what the half of a smiley face looks like. Because Tro uh, worked in the circus. It's kind of cool. But I don't know if it looks good just as it is. Like, I don't know. Without the, um, without the paint. I think it just looks weird. I'm not going to put it all the way in because once I put it in, it's pretty much set. But it's like, I don't know. You are staunchly anti-clown face. I'm not sure it looks good painted either. I think it looks better painted. But I, I agree. Here's the thing. Honestly, when it comes right down to it, Troa is dependable arguably the most dependable, but a little boring. Uh, and so the idea of having some kind of touch of interest 
It's cool. Although I will say the heavy arms that we're building, this version of the heavy arms, is fucking cool. I love all the guns and stuff. It's a, it's a great weapons thing. So, I think right now, based on your feedback, that we're going to go with... Shit, I messed it up. We're going to go with the, the non-clown face, which now I have to pop out because I messed up. Let's see. To figure out how to get that out safely. I'm going to take this off while I do my dirty business because I don't want to break anything. So, look, if you're anti-clown and you don't even think painted it looks good, yeah, that's enough for me. We will we will keep the paint, the clown face, for someone else. Whoever gets this kit in the future could modify it themselves if they wanted to. But we will keep it the way it is with just this version. I'm going to put this on here. We'll go with that. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm probably the one who would be in favor of it. Yeah, Road. I mean, I, th I like it as a weird thing. I, if it was, if there was a sticker for it that I could add, I might be more inclined to fight for it if it had like a cool sticker. It does not have a cool sticker. So I'm less likely to be in favor of it. Um, I, uh, if you didn't watch the, the Friday stream last week, uh, I talked a bit about um, the Waypoint stream. I was on for four hours. Um, I believe that's all on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Waypoint. I don't know these exactly the hour marks. It was Friday uh, afternoon into evening. Uh, I was very pleased to be on. We hit a incentive. We got to the 4269 or whatever the goal was, uh, 6900, something like that. Uh, we hit our, our goal, and then I built a little death scythe, a little SD death scythe, and uh, uh, the founder of Waypoint, Austin Walker, built a, a little tiny SD Gundam Double Zero, which looked very cool. Um, and it was a pleasure to build uh, a model kit with Austin. As many of you know, the reason this stream happens is I did model kit building in the 90s and loved it and then kind of got out of the habit. And based on a gag he did while still at Giant Bomb about the idea of having a Gunplug Club and doing a live stream about that as if he that was his YouTube channel, I realized, why didn't I fucking do that? I love building. And that's why this stream exists, because of Austin. So I'm very happy uh, to kind of go full circle and on one of his streams, build a model kit with him. We each built our own model kits, but it was very fun. Um, all right. So now we're going to work on the, we did the head. Here's the head. You look at the head there. Uh, let's work on the body. This kit, uh, I don't know if we'll finish today, but we'll get very close. If we don't finish today, we'll be very close on Saturday. Um, the next kit we're going to do is a Lego set. It is the Ninja Go Lightning Jet. It is 800-something pieces. It will take a bit of time to do. I am very excited to work on it because it looks like a very cool kit. Uh, let me do a little... Go fix this here. Good video. Oh, camera controls. Um, so that's the next thing that we'll do is... Um, is that and it's good because we haven't done uh, Lego in a bit. We've done this will be the second kit in a row we do that are there's Gunpla. So I'm excited to get back to Lego and do a Lego kit because it's been a little while. Um, basically, the whole month we've been doing Gunpla, so excited for that. Um, speaking of Gunpla, I bought something very cool. I'm going to show it in the. Um, the break where we talk, you know, where I ask people who are not subscribers to be subscribers and say, hey, if you want to get get in on Patreon, now's a good show. When I do that, I'm going to show this kit that I bought at Gundam Planet. It's not available on Amazon. I found it on Gundam Planet, and I basically had to purchase it. It was a required purchase. It is a beautiful 
nonsense kit that I can't wait to build and will do it in the future. And you will enjoy it. But it'll be a little ways before we do it because I've got other stuff to work on. Um, because I finally got paid by Amazon. Not Amazon. Uh, sorry, not Amazon. Google. Um, many of you know that I am a... Uh, I have videos up on, on there. For the longest time, most of my videos were um, just 404 ing it stuff and promotional things and things like that. Um, and so it took years and years and years for me to have videos that I could monetize. And I finally hit over $100, which is the threshold for AdSense to pay you. And I got uh, a deposit of $120 something. And I took 45 of that. And immediate and then plus shipping, and immediately bought a model kit that is expensive. As I said, it was forty-five dollars base. Uh, it is a pricey kit, but I think y'all are gonna love it. Um, it's huge. It is a ginormous kit, and uh, it'll be a very fun to, thing to build in November, which obviously is coming up. A reminder that next Monday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, until uh, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time again, I will be doing a pumpkin carving live stream here on this channel. Uh, and, and we'll probably play Quiplash at the end, but instead of just focusing purely on games, I'm going to focus on, uh, on doing uh, a carving thing. I'm going to carve... Two pumpkins of a decent size. One will be for my home. Uh, and one will be for my work. Uh, Zorb says, love the idea of pumpkin carving. I, Yeah, when it came to me, I was like, oh, that's definitely something I want to do. Um, that's definitely something that I think would be really cool for, for people to watch. And something that I planned on doing anyway. So why not do it on stream? Uh, what is, I'll do is I'm going to do one for work first, the one that I'm going to bring into my work and I'll just design it how I think it should go and how it should look, uh, to the best of my ability. Oh, I did these wrong. Got to flip them out. Uh, these are the, these, the doors to the chest piece are, are these on these hanger things here. So we got to put these in right and do it right. Um, and then the second one, I will just take suggestions from the chat, and it'll be the one that I put out on my uh, stoop. So it'll be whatever people want to be, and you can be as silly or and weird as possible, because that'll be just the one for us. And then, yeah, then the first one, I'm just going to do what I want to do. And it'll be a good thing to do while people join the chat and all that. Um, it'll be like we did uh, when we did Monster Girl Maker, only pumpkins and real. So I'm excited for that. That's going to be a very silly um, stream. I think it'll be very cool. This is like this. That. Hmm. All right. So uh, yeah. So I'm still putting this together here. We're gonna get. We want. Big on the top, small on the bottom. Um, yeah, so that's Thursday. That's Monday, I should say. Um, that'll be the Monday stream. I'm excited for that. I think it will be very fun, and people will enjoy it. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, uh, at the top of the stream, this Saturday will be the subscriber uh, giveaway. I will be giving away two Lego sets we built on the stream to folks, um, which will be cool, and I'll the name out of the subscribers so if you're not currently subscribing or if you're you know if it in the next two days it needs to be renewed now's a good time to do it um some people didn't renew from last month and that's a a bummer um it's cool when people subscribe and keep subscribed that's cool and great all right i'm having a little trouble getting these in um I have to get them in. It doesn't really work without it. So just give me some time to do this. Stop pressuring me. 
Uh, it was nice to see my folks today. It was good to catch up with them. Um, luckily, work didn't get involved and get in my way. Sometimes that happens. Uh, what I ended up doing was... Uh, oh, Mr. Bob just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Mr. Bob subscribed 14 months in a row. Mr. Bob, you're a champion and a hero and a huge support. Thank you very much for that. That's 14 months of uh of using your twitch prime and supporting the stream that's fucking rad thank you so much mr bob i really do appreciate it um that's awesome uh let's see oh uh, yeah so yesterday i set up all my stream stuff and i recorded a video that's gonna go up tomorrow um about league of heels i, I did another promotional video this time about our merchandise because Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, if you like wrestling merchandise, uh, we made a shirt that's um, great, like legitimately great and stupid. We made a very good, stupid shirt. Um, a new One of our new shirts is great. Our poster is cute, and our shirt is stupid and great, and that's all I can say about it until the video goes up tomorrow, but it, it's good. I think people will like it. What we've got for sale, um, that what we'll have for sale for Pax Unplugged, um, which I'm excited about. I got a, more work to do for it, but yeah. So I have a video coming up, and I shot that yesterday, and then tomorrow I have to shoot uh, my another episode of Let Pat Play, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna go and check out stuff on Itch. And uh, see if I can find inspiration there. But uh, yeah, my my Let's Play series. I don't have a thing that I know I want to look at. So, which is rare. Usually I have something in the pipe uh, coming up, but not this week. So I'll shoot something tomorrow for that. And then... Oh, I shot my monthly Q&A. Uh, I'll mention it again, you know, in the middle, but, uh, uh, one of the perks of being a Patreon sub uh, supporter, even at the dollar level, is that I do a monthly Q&A. Um, I get questions that people submit to me, and then I answer them. Uh, I got two questions, one that's kind of involved, but is a really, I think, cool peek behind the scenes, and one that, uh, was really easy to answer in short. So, that's... Something to look forward to if you're a subscriber. That video is going to go out on Saturday during the day. Um, yeah. We'll move on here. Working on our heavy arms. I'm going to... To forgive me here, this is came this went in weird this is the the front machine guns the chest opens up and then you can shoot a machine gun but it didn't pop in right oh there we go all right that looks better great did that okay so now we're gonna put the chest pieces on here um we need c9 uh, if there's anything you want to chat about, uh, I've got anime stuff to talk about because obviously um, last Friday I hadn't watched anything from the previous uh, Thursday, so I didn't really have any anime stuff to talk about. Um, uh, and I'm going to get into to that chat. Um, one of the things that I will talk, say, just say right off the bat, which was very fun, was I did uh, uh, Hello the Hollow and welcome. I am doing a rewatch. Because uh, I, I like to, on Halloween, watch uh, stuff that is Halloween-themed but not spooky. Uh, I'm not a fan of horror stuff. So I am currently, I have one episode left, episode 12 left, and uh, of uh, Flying Witch, which came out in 2016 and is just a lovely, wonderful uh, series. It is a slice-of-life show about a... Uh, 15 or 16 year old girl 
who uh, is studying to 15. She's studying to be a witch. She's a witch in training. And uh, she moves out of her house and moves in with her relatives uh, to a nice uh, town with lots of nature in it. And it's about her and her older sister, who's a very acclaimed witch, and uh, and her cousins. And it's a very cute show. It's really, really sweet and really nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. All right, we got to put more stickers on our uh, stuff. These are our chest pieces here. They slot in, and then it covers the machine guns on the chest. But we need to put stickers on them. So we're going to do that next. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend Flying Witch if you like Slice of Life shows. There are whole episodes that have um, little or nothing to do with witchcraft. They are just about like uh, like relaxing, cool time. Um, it, which is kind of surprising and interesting that there's a show about a witch because of Slice of Life sometimes doesn't really focus on the witchcraft element. It focuses on, like, being a school student. Um, it's very fun. I, I really do like it. And there's an anthropomorphic dog lady. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah. Big old fan of that show let's see so that's which one's h one is h okay i don't know the symbols that i'm referring to here i just said h but it's definitely not an h it's a sideways h so yeah so i'm applying stickers here because as a high grade these kits um need a little bit of perk. They need a little perk it up. I finally watched Gridman. I dig it so far. Yeah, Lashbrook, I have not seen Gridman at all yet. I'm so behind. Um I once I added once I added Radiant to my weekly watch, which is good. I like it. It's been tough. So okay, let's get into it. So uh I couldn't talk about it last Friday because the episode comes out on Saturday. Um now that I've watched three episodes of it, um I, th oh, we had some drop frames there. I hope everything's, I hope people are doing okay. We had, uh, m like a weird hiccup there, which is the most we've had. We've been good for a while there. So sorry about that. So, um, I now can say that I, th after three episodes, I can recommend, um, what, let's look at the actual name. The real name of it is Ms. Vampire Who Lives in My Neighborhood. I can recommend Ms. Vampire, who lives in my neighborhood. I think it's a very cute show. Um, I like the idea that Sophie Twilight um, uh, is uh, a very fun uh, character. I think she's she's very cute and sweet. And the fact that she's a vampire, but also kind of the uh, voice of reason, I think is really cool. Oh, we got more frames dropped here. Uh, hmm. Hope everything's all right, and you guys, it's okay on your end. Um, but yeah, th in the chat, if it's weird, let me know. Throw a message in the chat if this has been like a weird uh stream for you. Um, internet's getting a little wonky here. We've been great for months. We haven't had an issue. In a really long time, uh, especially when I dropped the bit rate down, it, it was going good. But yeah, this is a uh, weird. I'm gonna go to the actual page, take a look at this. Uh, it's annoying because a bunch of you are watching right now, and uh, I don't enjoy that part of it. But hopefully everything's gonna be okay. Uh, Harold says, fine, seems okay for me. I'm kind of half watching since I'm playing uh, AC Odyssey right now, but it sounded okay. It's bouncing for resolution. I apologize, The Hollow. Um, so, as always, the archive of this is recorded locally. I don't use the 
Uh, I don't use the archive from Twitch uh, for my YouTube. So if there is an issue, um, you can always watch the YouTube archive, which will go up tomorrow. Um, uh, Zorbs, I saw you retweeted. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that's very nice. Um, and to everybody that's watching, hello and welcome. Um, yeah, there, there's definitely been hiccups. I mean, I dropped about 900 frames so far, uh, which just was all there. So I'll keep an eye on it. I can't really do anything about it too much. Um, I'll look at my settings before Saturday. I might like flush the router and all that, uh, on Saturday just for safety sake, but I don't want to get up. I don't want to stop and do that. Um, so we'll just continue on, and hopefully everything will be okay. And like I said, tomorrow the YouTube archive will go up in case uh, anybody is having a problem watching. Um, so, Ms. Vampire lives in the neighborhood. It's kind of fun that the vampire is the voice of reason and is oftentimes uh, uh, the straight kind of character, not the zany one. It's pretty fun. Um there's still a character who hasn't been introduced yet. I assume that this Saturday we will be introduced to the other vampire that is in the opening video. Um, I assume it's a vampire, but there's another character in the opening uh, song that we haven't seen yet. So I'd like to see that character. Um, so that was good. Um, I Yeah, I can now recommend Ms. Vampire Who Lives in My Neighborhood. I, I can't believe that... So the four shows I'm watching regularly... I'm watching Radiant. I'm watching Black Clover. But the four main shows, the four new shows I'm checking out that I'm really into have the weirdest names. Ms. Vampire Who Lives in My Neighborhood. That Time I Got Reincarnated as Slime. Skullface Bookseller Honda san And As Ms. Beelzebub Likes. I'll start with As Ms. Beelzebub Likes. Uh, the truth of this is that generally... It's just a cute show. I'm. I want more. Uh, I want more demon stuff. It's. It's fun because it's a cute little love story, and like they're gonna maybe end up together. Maybe they won't. Maybe it'll end with them realizing it. Uh, but right now, um, it's. I want more fantastical stuff. There's not a lot of fantastical things. Uh, it's I don't think it's using its idea very well. Um, its premise, I should say. Not idea, its premise very well. So that's frustrating because I, I think it could be a much better show than it is. Right now it's just very cute and it, it doesn't need to be about demons from hell who are actually pretty cute and responsible. Right now it's, it's missing something, in my opinion. Um... The Hollow says, I watched that slime show, and that's just a fun show. Yes. Caveat. The latest episode of that time I got reincarnated as slime, which some people were just calling slime, or that slime show. It The end of the show, they go to what would be considered, pro, like, I guess would be considered like a, um, I'm trying to look for the, symbol for this i gotta put a sticker on here and i'm looking to figure out which sticker it is uh sorry hold on a second um this one it's this sticker okay really b2 um so uh so i'm i'm interested in that show but the end of episode four kind of got uh, fan servicey. He goes to he's celebrating with some uh, um, dwarves, which are cool. They are cool. Don't get me wrong. These dwarves are very cool. But they go to like a house where there are lots of elf ladies who will hang out with you. Uh, and they all think the slime is very fun. And there's a lot of like the slime being held in the lap of a uh, elf woman and boob talk. And it's, look, here's the thing. On its own, not great. Bad call, kind of very not cool. Not a fan of that part of the episode. The only part of four episodes I didn't like, which is pretty good. And 
for the genre. It is incredibly reserved uh, because so much of the genre that it's in, this like reincarnated or traveling to another world and you're like the best and overpowered and nonsense um, is uh, tough. That genre is tough and it has a lot of harem or harem, however you want to say it, elements to it. And this show so far hasn't had that. So, it wasn't great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not defending it. But, comparatively, it was pretty great. Asmo just subscribed. Happy to re-up for another month. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime token. I really do appreciate it, Asmo. Uh, I'm, I'm happy you're happy to re-up. Happy to have you. Um, so, we just put a full sticker on this piece, and I don't know why. It didn't need it. Didn't really need it, but we did. Uh, so that's on. So we got some stickers on there. So yeah, uh, that's the chest. The chest is done. It pops open like this. Woo. And then machine gun fire happens. We'll put the head on, because why not? Head on. There. All right. Let's work on the waist. The rest of the body stuff. We got more stickers to apply in a moment. These are the last of the stickers we're doing here. Almost done with stickers. Um, mid -octo uh, 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 mid October through early November is a nightmare for me at work, but uh, I'm glad I could make finally make some time to hop and stream. Asmo, uh, I appreciate that. Thank you for joining us here uh, on the stream. Uh, Looks like we haven't had any more. Uh, it was a weird hiccup. It might have just been my neighborhood. Something weird going on. Um, looks like we haven't dropped any frames in a while. So that's good. So I apologize to those that dealt with that. Um, so uh, a harem show. Yeah. The, the genre is ha high on harem. And it's it's not a good look. And it is always a fucking bummer. Uh, so I hope they move past it. And we don't see those elves girls again they seemed like nice girls but no thanks uh the other stuff was cool there's the all the dwarves were fun it's a fun episode otherwise um i'm into the show still i'm just yeah i'm a little disappointed with them and that part of it all right so we're building our uh, building our waist here. There. Got two more stickers left. We're going to apply our last stickers. I'm excited to be almost done with stickers. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, in general, I will say, uh, I do enjoy the show. I think it is fun and I do like it. So... Uh, I do endorse a time I got reincarnated as slime. It's a fun action show. It's pretty light. Um, it's a fun Monday show. Uh, the other show uh, that I'll talk about is... So, I honestly think that... I recommend this show if you ever worked in retail. Um, I can genuinely uh, recommend um, Skullface Bookseller Honda Sock. If you ever worked retail, I think that you would really appreciate the show. It is uh, is about a uh, bookstore, focuses on manga, and the employees that work there. Um, it is based on a manga by a guy who worked in a bookstore. Um, and it's very evident that even like while writing it, how much this this uh, the bookseller, the, the author, cared about being a good bookstore salesperson. It takes a little digs at the fandom, but the digs are honest and earnest. They feel earnest. They don't feel like slights on uh, on manga fans. Um, and it's kind of interesting. And it's also interesting because they do deal with like international folks, like French folks and Americans uh, and how they interact with, uh, with the Japanese booksellers. And that's kind of interesting, and I haven't really seen that before. So I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know. And also, 
Uh, I don't know if I said this, but they're fucking 11 minute episodes. So it's like two gags or one long gag. They're very short. So you could watch the first episode and just see if you like it. And if you don't like it, that was 11 minutes. So I would recommend checking out that show. I think it's real good. Uh, and then, let's see. I think that's the anime I want to talk about. Miss Vampire Lives in My Neighborhood. As Miss Bill Bill likes it. That time I got reincarnated into slime. I mean, Black Clover is still good. I don't need to tell you about Black Clover. It's still really good, and I like it. I might talk about that more on Saturday. Uh, I had some people say, it's so by the numbers. And it's like, yeah, but it's still really enjoyable. Uh, I'm going to try to see for Saturday's discussion um, SSSS Gridman. I'm going to try to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to try. No promises. And then also people are like, you would like uh, that Zombie Idol show or sh series. You would dig that. So maybe I'll check that out. I got a lot of recommendations. There's just a lot of anime this season, y'all. And once I finish, probably tonight, the last episode of Flying Witch, well, sorry, but I'm going to start up uh, with my other, my set, my next show that I'm going to watch, my next non-spooky Halloween-themed show, because we are long overdue for me to watch uh, Interviews with Monster Girls again. It's been too long uh, for me to check out that show. So I'm going to watch it. Um, it's just a good show that I really like. So I'm excited to go back and check it out. Because um, it was, it's one of my favorite shows. All right. So we're building our waist here. I think I said last week I was going to start watching Simulcast and I still haven't. Road, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to put pressure on you. The Hollow says... That anime is a real up-and-comer. I mean, look, last season was okay, but it wasn't, like, incredible. But I'll say this. This time last year, I mean, I was recommending... My favorite show was Love is Like a Cocktail, which is a three-minute episode, including the ending song. Like, I'm not even watching the stuff that other people are watching. Like, I'm not watching JoJo. I'm not watching uh, Sword Art. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that's like out and people are really into and I haven't even watched any of it yet. Uh, so it's, yeah. I mean, last the last season, you know, we had we had uh, some dis real disappointments. I, I, I would I would consider um, the premise kind of ruined by all of the bad bits of material in um, how not to summon uh, a demon lord. I think the premise is fucking rad. It's like a, it's, you know, and it could have been incredible. And I think it was kind of mediocre. Um, so I'm still bummed about that. And Overlord season three, I'm mostly disappointed in. I think the first episode is very good. I rewatched that the other day because um, I think that's a fun episode. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing with Overlord. One. Half of season two was just hating the main cast. And then they brought him back. All of season three is hating the main cast. They introduce all these characters. And they're great. And you know they're fucking gonna die. And, you, and then they fucking die. And it's awful. And it's fucking sucks. And then they kill a very cool character that they hadn't killed yet. And in the first part of season three, they do a whole thing and they introduce a cool thing. And then they don't pay it off at the end of season three. They introduce this animal companion character thing that looked pretty cool. And then it's not in... Uh, the end of the season. It doesn't show up. It's like, fuck off. Get out of here. You introduced, you're telling me there's a thing called a bicorn and it's the opposite of a unicorn and that it, it 
wants it only lets the you know unpure maidens ride it and then you don't fucking have that bicorn show up at the end get bent stupid made me mad uh darling in the fracks was last season franks i should say um that was last season, yeah. And that was certainly a highlight for some people. I didn't... Maybe it was two seasons ago. It might have been two seasons ago. Um, yes, Castlevania Season 2 comes out. That's going to be good. Uh, yeah, uh, I really do like that show. I think that's going to be good. I don't have Netflix at the moment because I usually am like... I get it and then I get rid of it and then I get it again depending on... Uh, what's out so I don't have it at the moment I'll probably at some point soon just get it for a month and and watch Castlevania and a few other things I expect I will do that um but yeah uh, I I did I did say that there were um some cool we support characters that showed up some goblin support characters that were pretty cool at the end of season three of uh, Overlord, but overall, I was very disappointed after really liking the first season and the second half of the second season. But at the very least, they didn't fucking bring back. They brought back the name and referenced him, but we didn't have to deal with fucking Pandora's actor. So thank fucking God. Ugh, the worst. So glad we didn't have to deal with that shit. Oh, that guy sucks so much. All right, so we're doing our side pieces where there are guns that pop out or missiles that pop out. So we got to clip those. Uh, I don't expect Konami to ever pick games. Uh, Detroit Metal City. I know the name. I'm going to look it up. Uh, Bicorn. Oh, yes. Yes, the idea of the Bicorn is pretty great where it's just like, What's up? You you do it? You do that thing? Cool. Get on. Let's ride, lady. I'm evil and great. Uh, also, I will say this. Part of the reason why... Oh, yes, I have seen Detroit Metal City. Yes. Uh, pretty funny. Uh, you know, pretty fucking good. Um, one of the parts of the bike one I really liked is... Uh, they named a bicorn, so this is episode thir 14, but the first episode of the third season, uh, it was almost a JoJo reference. It was a JoJo reference, but she goes, uh, I want to put my emotions into the name of this bicorn, so I'm going to call it Top of the World. And just the name, hey, come here, Top of the World. Top of the World is a great name for a, uh, a war horse, name, a bicorn war horse. Uh, and I just think it was really fun. But also, like, um, that episode also features uh, characters kind of having, like, girl talk and girl time. And they, like, talk about how, like, we feel bad because he's one of the creatures of the country. But, like, hey, isn't this one dude really creepy and slimy? And they're all like, yes, I've been thinking that. And it's it's very fun. And it's a character you haven't really been introduced to, and then you meet that character, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's that character's creepy. Uh, so I do like that about that. That That is why it's part of uh, why it's my favorite episode of that season. Uh, the Hollow says, oh, I watched Goblin Slayer, and boy, that first episode is made for 14 of Edgelords. Yeah. Uh, they really, really want to get their point across, huh? That show is a lot of... Fuck. Um, yeah. Talk about introducing characters to say goodbye to them in very bad ways. Yeah, I don't... I think that's the show I'm going to watch clips on YouTube of and never actually watch it. Because uh, there's some kind of like interesting clips of it. But I don't really want to watch that show. I don't think. Uh, yeah, um, I, I played Rondo. You know, Rondo is very good. Rondo of Blood is is a good 
series. It's a good. It's very good. But yeah, I wasn't like super inter- in the interested in in the remakes. Um, all right, so I don't know quite how this works. Um, I'm gonna kind of figure this out. Once I do one, the other will be very easy, as always. You know the drill. I've said this every time I do something like this. Okay, that worked. Uh, so this is kind of cool. So this piece sits on uh, the side of the skirt like this. Um, like Yeah, like this. And then it pops up and out. Eh, yeah. And then boom. Rockets can shoot out of it. I think that's very cool. Put those on there. I think it's pretty cool. All right. Um, good night, Harold. Thank you for being in the chat. Thank you for um, for hosting, as always. Very much appreciated. Have a good night. Um, what were we saying here? Uh, yes. Um. Yeah, I don't know why she wants to do that because I don't see revenge in her heart. Like, there's there's a lot of parts of this, the whole idea of of Goblin Slayer that I'm like, this doesn't seem like I want to watch it. Uh, we'll see. But yeah. Um, Rondo is the only Castlevania I want to try, but then I could just go watch the Vinnyvania instead. I mean, that Vinnyvania is pretty great, Road. I mean... You could do a lot worse for a Vinnyvania than that one. I mean, that's the kind of how I feel about the new Mega Man. Like, I like Mega Man, but I'd kind of rather just watch Alex play it than do it myself. Uh, there's just so much going on. and I don't know if I have it in me for a Mega Man game. I should get it at some point. I should see what... Honestly, I have a gift card uh, for GameStop. I should see what how much is left on it because maybe I'll buy a game sorry this is taking so long these things are uh, annoying and I'm having trouble with it hmm alright so it goes like this and then this like fits in like that all right, and then there it goes. And then it pops out. And then it pops it in the other side. Uh, is Rondo a blood Castlevania game that they give his Dan to try to play and he had to pull out of a Wii and it all kinds of trouble? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think Rondo is pretty cool. And, like, part of it was that it was a PC Engine game and, like, looks looked really cool at the time and sounded fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if this translation is great or good or whatever. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I like that game. And if you're a Castlevania, you know, purist and you want to watch all of them or play all of them, I should say, might be worth it. All right, so we did that. We did that. Um, put our legs in here. We'll put this on like this. Yeah, we're cooking along here on this kit. We'll probably finish it off today. Um, I'm not expecting. We just got to build the backpack and build the weapons. The weapons are a little bit... They're not hard, per se, but there's a little bit to them. Uh, one of the funniest things about this is, so, you know, heavy arms is a gun arm. In this case, as you can see from the photos, uh, um, is that he can also just, like, have one stored, which I think is a fun, dumb look. Uh, 
The Hollow says, you know that whole dumb horseshoe theory in politics? I feel like something like that should exist for maturity because stuff like Goblin Slayer sees less mature than a Pixar movie. And generally seeing a Pixar movie requires more mature open-mindedness. I get what you mean, The Hollow. I understand what you're saying. Um, there's mature, and then there's mature. Yeah. And um, that Goblin Slayer feels like Someone was like, what about a dude that just kills goblins? And you're, and you're like, oh, okay. Goblins are a big threat. Not to everyone, but to some people they are. And like, they're kind of like rats with brains. And they do a lot of awful stuff to women for, no se for seemingly no reason. And like, you kill them. And you're like, okay. And you're like, Oh, and also, uh, you, you like recruit like a healer and she's like real cute. Uh, okay. And you're like, okay. Yeah. But like, you don't care cause you're the goblin. You're like dealing with stuff. Uh, it's, ugh. Oh, uh, sorry, the hollow. Uh, I do have a, uh, spam, a cap spam filter. Um, it's very rare to see Nightbot. Uh, I should say, hey, y'all, it's very rare to see Nightbot, um, because y'all are the best and we almost never have any problems. So I apologize to you, the hollow, um, for the timeout, which is why it's low and, uh, for, for caps. Uh, but uh, generally, I just want to avoid people coming into the chat and spamming a bunch of hate in all caps, which we've never had, um, honestly. I remember somebody got a timeout for talking about FLCL uh, because they were just, they kept writing FLCL in reference to what we were talking about. And they got a timeout for that, which I was kind of embarrassed about. Um, Asmo, I missed that. Uh, you've never played a Castlevania or a Mega Man game. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if, if Mega Man like holds up, but I love Mega Man 2 and 3 so much. They're such good games. They're of their time, but I, I love them. I think there might be my favorite Nintendo games. Uh, I mean, NES games, I should say. I love them a lot. All right, so put our booster rockets on, and then we're going to put uh, the things that hold our guns when we don't want to hold our guns. Uh, and then we will uh, assemble, and then we'll build our, our weapons after a break. We'll do this first. Uh, two and three still hold up? Yeah. I haven't played X in a really long time. I'll admit that. Um so that's that's five and seven Go over here. All right. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. So like I said, uh, there's some anime stuff I'm gonna have to check out that I haven't seen yet. Um, still not just. Just still not caught up on everything, but I think I've got the shows I like to watch that I know I'm going to follow through on. Um, uh, on Mondays, I basically watch um, uh, the time I got reincarnated as slime. And even though it comes out late Sunday or Sunday afternoon, I usually on Monday watch um, Skullface Bookseller Honda-san. And then Thursday... It comes out late Wednesday, early Thursday, but usually I watch it Thursday when I'm like, usually at dinner is, um, I'll watch that time or not. Sorry. Um, uh, as Miss BL's above likes, and then usually Saturday for dinner before we stream, I'll watch, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Ms. Vampire who lives in my neighborhood. So. 
usually I can keep up with everything because at the very least I watch those four shows. Oh yeah, Fairy Tale was a show that there's new, the final season of that I watched like the first two episodes and then I'm like, uh, I'm probably not gonna watch this week to week. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, I just imagine someone being great to the title of Captain Anime, walking up to them and ripping off the badge. Uh, I love the hell out of Blue Bobbin and Vinivania, but I didn't grow up with NES or SNES. The first console was a PSX and N64 for myself in high school. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I didn't play a lot of the NES. I grew up with it, but certainly didn't spend a lot of time playing it. Um, I was I was more into kind of computer game stuff. Uh, never had a Super Nintendo back in the day. Got one later in life. Uh, skipped that generation. Got an N64 while I was in college. Um... Certainly played some Super Nintendo games at the time. Uh, but, yeah, I kind of didn't really play anything of that generation. I didn't own anything in that generation until later. Alright, so except for the guns, our gun arms, this is our heavy arms here. So we don't have the heavy arms yet. We just have all of the other weapons. We can open up all of our weapon things here. Very silly. Oh, this thing likes to pop off. Yes, Road is Captain Anime. Uh, all right. So let's open up all of our weapon components here. Get all the weapons out. All of that. I think we have one more thing to do, which is to open up our this part here. Oops, that came off annoying uh, road says I am the queen of the garbage oh uh, you're not a garbage queen road anime does not necessarily equal garbage it equals trash and trash and garbage are subtly different you're just the queen of trash it's similar but different Um, yeah, it's true, it's very true. Uh, uh, Asmo, um, uh, Shovel Knight is definitely a throwback and it's, um, yeah, as the hollow says, it is more of a modern version of that, of the genre, um, but it is a love letter to those games and I do enjoy it. So here's our heavy arms all opened up and ready to shoot some stuff at people and we're going to build our weapon, our guns. Uh, the final parts of this kit in a moment. But first, I got to talk to you all about how you can support the stream. We'll do that now. Then we'll build our guns. And then we'll move on and build. Uh, uh, so, here we go. First and foremost, thank you for subscribing if you're already a subscriber. It's awesome. The money I make from that goes to me buying kits. It's very rad of you for supporting my habit and, and the streams. Um, if you are not actively a subscriber, consider it. You can use your Twitch coin uh, with through Twitch Prime. Uh, if you like to do that or spend $5 a month, um, that's one way to support the stream. Um, I, as I said, this Saturday I'm giving out during the, which will be the 123rd stream. I'll be giving out uh, two Lego sets we built on stream. Um, that's on Saturday, uh, so that should be pretty cool. Um, if you don't can't be a subscriber, you can be a follow. That's very helpful. Um, also, at even a dollar, you could back me on Patreon. Uh, Patreon, five dollar level gets the videos uh, as soon as I can put them on the internet. So tonight, this video archive will go up first for uh, Patreon, and then it'll go up for everyone else tomorrow. Um, on uh, on Sunday, I will send out Let Pat Play early to them. And the $10 people get to vote on what I build next. So Patreon's pretty cool. Uh, I also have an Amazon wish list, which I update pretty often. Um, if you want to buy something, and I'll build it next on the stream. It'll jump the line. So I'm doing Lego now, but once I finish the Lego kit, if you mail me something, I'll build it next. So if you have uh, Amazon gift cards coming up on holiday stuff, send it my way. Um... Uh, that would be very beneficial. Um, I've got a coffee, a coffee, if you want to give a tip. 
tip jar is also appreciated lets me keep building stuff any money i make through coffee uh my patreon twitch youtube video ad revenue you know goes into me buying model kits and as i said um i will just say right quick before i show this off i also have a discord i recommend people join the discord it's fun i post the photos of the builds uh so if you miss the stream you can just see what i built on that photo and here's here's what i, I want to show off here's what i built all right here's what i bought then it'll go later and i'll build it another time it is the Wing Gundam Zero non-graded 160 scale. Now, you may remember when we built the perfect grade, that was 160 scale. This is 1100. Imagine a ginormous kit. That's what this is. This is the 160 scale. This is not, this is basically kind of like a high, a giant high grade. It's not graded, but look how big the pieces are. Look how big, look how big this head is going to be. Look how big the beams are. Uh, this is a massive kit. It's got big old stickers. Uh, it is, um, it is a fantastic kit. It's the Wing Zero. So the Wing Zero was the second Wing Gundam, but actually the first Gundam they built. The This is the chest piece. This should tell you how big you can see the chest piece right over here, how big this kit is. Um, I I picked this up from Gundam Planet. Uh, it's not was not available on Amazon. Gundam Planet had it. Gundam Planet is in New Jersey. Someday I will go there uh, and see it for myself, but instead I just for this, I just bought it. This was expensive. It was a lot of money, but it's worth it because it's going to be a very cool, dumb thing to build. Uh, so I'm excited because it's a scale I've only built once in my life. The perfect grade we built, which was the Wing Gundam uh, Wing Zero uh, Custom. Uh, so this is a 1995 kit. Uh, and it's... For, it's called the real making version. And I don't know what the fuck real making version is supposed to mean. It's kind of like a nod to real grade, I guess. But it is an ungraded kit. It's the first ungraded kit we're building on stream um, uh, for Gundam. We've built ungraded the um, uh, the uh, Poe and the regular old uh, Star Wars kits. Um, those X-Wing kits were not graded. This is the first... Gundam we're going to build. It's a big boy. You're not wrong, Road. Um, I can't wait to build this thing. It is going to be great. Uh, the next thing we're building is a Lego set, and then it will go into the, for after that, it will go into the list of available kits that people who are $10 Patreon supporters can vote on. So... That came out of the hundred and something dollars I got from AdSense, from Google, through YouTube, uh, which I could not have done without people who watch my YouTube videos, be it the improvised postmortems or watching these archives of these streams um, or my Let's Plays. They all add up. In this case, they all add up to me buying a very expensive kit um, that I've known about for a long time. But... Uh, I kind of can't wait to build it. It's going to be wild. Um, the Wing Zero. Um, this is the, the Wing Zero. I like Gundam Wing. The Wing Zero also, it transforms. Uh, did I say that? Did I say that it fucking... It's got the jet mode. Uh, it looks cool as hell. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. It's going to be a, a tough build, but a fun one. So, yeah. I picked that up at Gundam Planet. I'm excited to build it. Um, I haven't told anyone. Uh, I, I told people on stream that I bought a big thing. I have not talked about it, um, and I will tonight after the stream. I will um, I'll talk about how that's the next kit. Um, all right, so let's build our guns for our heavy arms here. Let's build some heavy guns for our heavy arms. Um, 
it's fun. The sheet we only used for like the the waste, so it's fun to like finally get this out and build it. Um, we'll build them at the same time. So we need nine here. Me. Ah, pardon me. So yeah, so this is um gonna be a uh, that's a fun kit in the future. But I wanted to share it. Because I'm very excited. It came in the mail today. And I really wanted to uh, show it off. And um, in my quest to build everything from Gundam Wing, it felt like a thing I needed to do. And unlike the perfect grade, which I'm keeping forever, this will go in, eventually will be uh, sent out to someone. Um, be expensive. But hopefully by that time... I'll have lots and lots of subscribers. That would be that would be the hope anyway. Uh, if anybody came along because they started uh, following me because of uh, being on Austin or being on the Waypoint stream, I should say, uh, hello and welcome. Um, hope you're having fun. Hope you like what you see. Uh, this is the normal stream, uh, Thursdays and Saturdays, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time on normal streams. Uh, once again, I do want to remind people that I am doing my monthly bonus stream on Monday, 3.30 p.m. till 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be building, or bu building, I will be carving two pumpkins, and then we'll probably play Quiplash. Um, eventually we'll play some Jackbox stuff. In November, I think we'll play the new Jackbox Party Pack and play a couple of those games. Uh, I only think, I think the Insult Robot one is fun to play, and I think You Don't Know Jack is fun to play um, with people. Uh, I think one of them is, I, I don't think that the presentation one, the drawing presentation one, works if you're not in the same room together i don't think it works streaming if you have people playing in the in the chat um so i think that um i'll probably just you know maybe do you don't know jack and then definitely i think the robot insult one will be fun um and i can kind of entertain people while that's getting going so we will check that out uh but we won't do it um on, uh, we won't do that on Monday. Monday, we might play a couple of That rap battle game is pure misery. I think, like, I think it'd be pretty, f it's pretty fun. I'm, a I'm in, I'm interested in playing that with, uh, comedy folks. Because I think that that could be, um, pretty fun with my comedy friends. But you can play it on Twitch, so I think that's helpful. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll never play any of them, but I think I will. All right, so we gotta put these here. Just building our guns, building our big heavy arms here. Uh, what is the high res model equivalent to? So, robot. Uh, one of the things that happens in throughout the years is that there are some that don't have a grade. So I don't quite know what this equivalent is to. What I would call it is a 160 scale high grade. I think I, because a perfect grade is a million tiny pieces, and these are some very big pieces. So I count that this to be a, it's not called a high grade because it's the 160 scale, but I think it's a high grade uh, or the equivalent of. That's just my interpretation from looking at it uh, I don't know for certain, but that's what it seems to be based on uh, me looking at the pieces that are available and a little bit of research. Uh, so I think it's kind of like, it's just a, a 160 scaled high grade is, is my gut is telling me that. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm definitely interested in, in building it. Kind of can't wait. So this goes like this. This goes like this. Um, 
the one I'm looking at is a looks like a real grade um, let's see what you are looking at um, that's not the one that is that is not the one we're building here uh, you can see it says the high resolution um, that high resolution is a like exclusive it is uh, that is a re that is like a high res real grade. Um, they've done a couple high re res, so that's not the kit I uh, I'm building. Um, uh, let's see if I can find the one I'm building and put a link in the chat. Uh, I'll look it up in a second and I'll give you a link here um, to Gundam Planet. Look it up. What the heck? Why is this? Hold on one second and I will get there. Uh, oh, you saw the one I got. You just look around. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm still going to look it up and put a link in there for folks to, that want to see um, more information about this kit. Uh, orders. I've only made one order, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Yeah, it was, uh, oh, of course it doesn't, what the fuck? All right, just look that up. All right, well, I can't find it. It's dumb, whatever. Uh, yeah, that one is, oh, okay, so the high-res model, yeah, it's more of a real grade. I don't know the scale of it. I didn't look it up. But the high res, I forgot what you were asking about. I forgot what that was. And that's, you know, it's kind of interesting, but um, it really just looks like it's an extra shiny Gundam, and I don't know if I need that. But a giant Gundam is something I certainly need. I certainly need a very large, uh, very big wing Gundam, wing zero. That is something I definitely know that I need. So I'm going to build it. And it's going to be cool. There it is. You got the link there. Robot Crank put the link there in the chat. I'm going to copy that and put it in my show notes. Uh, so people can look at it. Yeah, this was a thing that was not in... Um, I've never seen it on Amazon. So I was excited to, to purchase it. I think it's going to be a very cool kit to build at some point. All right, so we're working on our weapons here. We need 16 and 20. Building our barrels here. Got another 40 minutes left in the stream. If there's anything anybody wants to chat about feel free to throw ideas at me out there um i don't know if i have anything i really want to chat about right now but if there's anything you want to talk about you can do it racked just subscribed using twitch prime thank you so much racked uh great username uh that is a um Yes, there's no 160 G Gundam stuff, uh, Robot Crank, uh, uh, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, uh, hello, Rack. Thank you for subscribing. I do very much appreciate it. Um, and using your Twitch coin for uh, more streams. Uh, and 15. All right, we'll finish building this gun here. I don't know if these are need to be particularly perfect, but we'll do it right. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. I think I got through everything. All right, and...
go. It goes on there. Um, I don't have any Gunpla news, but I did just pick up uh, THPS 3 and Time Crisis 3 today. Pretty excited about that. That's cool, Ashbrook. Very cool. Uh... Asmo says, I'm currently entertained with movie home release schedules. Two movies I miss in theaters at the same time uh, are uh, for home consumption a month apart and I'm mildly irritated. That is irritating. You're not wrong, Asmo. I think you're totally reasonable. It's reasonable for you to be annoyed by that. Um, let's see. Oh, I had something I was going to talk about. Don't remember what that was. Um... Oh, so November's schedule right now looks like it will be pretty much uh, the usual. Um, I uh, I think that... Okay, so... Let's see. There will be some changes in November. Uh, modifications uh, to the schedule. Um, the first is definitely, I know, Thanksgiving, right? Uh so it's Thursday, November 22nd is Thanksgiving. So that Thursday, I will not be streaming because that is Thanksgiving and I will be with friends. So what I'll do is I will stream on the 23rd and also on the 24th. Uh, so that'll just be, I'll just do that. I'll do the 23rd and 24th that week. And then the following week, I will do a stream on... Uh, on the 28th, which is a Wednesday, I'm going to do a stream instead of the 29th because the 29th I'll be traveling to PAX. So I'm going to do a stream Wednesday the afternoon the 28th. 29th I'll be going to PAX. Um, and then uh, the f on December 1st, I don't know when. It, mi it might be the normal time. It might be some other time. I'm going to do my damn just to stream from PAX. Uh, either from my Airbnb or from the actual, like, booth, my table. But uh, if the, you know, the Wi-Fi was amazing. But I'm going to do some kind of stream. Even if it's just an hour of me hanging out, I'm going to bring a couple little kits, easy things to build. I've got a couple of those um, kits I bought in New York Comic Con uh, that are um, uh, some Dragon Ball little vehicle kits. Really easy to build. I could put a snipper clip in with that, uh, with my bag, and take those down. Since I'm not getting on a plane, I'm taking the train down. Um, so I will. So yeah. So it'll be a little weird in November. Uh, I don't know when my bonus stream is going to be. It might be the week of Thanksgiving. I might just do a 19th a stream that 19th, uh, just to do that. But um, uh. Yeah, the Hollow. I don't think I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna play Red Dead. Um, I didn't love the last one, so I don't know if I'm gonna play this one because I didn't really like the one before it. So I don't know why I would go out of my way to play this one, other than people worked hard on it, and it seems to be being in the zeitgeist. But I don't know. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Maybe I'll check it out another time. I don't know. I'm very busy right now for games anyway. Uh, um, I've said it before. I loved the nor uh, Northeast Amtrak Corridor. Asmo, it's the fucking best. Um, uh, I, I love that my train is like an hour. My train ride to PAX is going to be like an hour and a half to PAX Unplugged from New York. And my train ride up to Boston is usually a couple hours. It's not bad. Um, even if I don't splurge for the Acelica and just take a regular Amtrak train. It's so rad. I love it so much. Even the regional trains are great. But yeah, uh, the fact that I get to Philly so fast and because I bought my tickets so far in advance, they are incredibly cheap. Like my tickets are not costing me much of anything because I bought them uh, early enough in advance. Uh, that I saved a bunch of money, so because I know exactly what I'm going. 
Uh, there, I got the I got the super saver price. Don't worry. Of course, I got the super saver price. Uh, hello, uh, hello, Sin. Welcome. It's been a little while. Uh, I love the section of track near uh, McLeod to Eugene, Oregon. Uh, I have a constant urge to walk that segment because of Stand By Me. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Sin, it's good to have you in the chat. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, we are in the last about half an hour of the stream, but it's good to have you here. Uh, we just finished our heavy arms. All I have left to do is put this uh, where it heavy belongs. Uh, that didn't make any sense. Um, how does this work? It clips in like this. It's been a long time since I... Yes, okay, great. That clips in like that. And there it is. That's the heavy arms. I'll put it on. It's, oops. Doesn't really look... It doesn't love staying in its holders. These guns don't love to stay in the holder sections, which is fine. They don't need to stay that well. But yeah, that's the heavy arms. I'll probably fake it for the photo. But yeah, um, it's a high-grade kit. But the master grade of this is very rare and very expensive. And I, I can't justify it so we got the high grade version i'm trying to do every version of every gundam wing kit uh or the five gundams the five main gundams the two versions of wing which so makes that six plus epion i'm trying to build every incarnation of those uh so this is on a road we still have sand rock we still have the master grade sand rock to build and the endless walls version of the sand rock to build which we have in the high grade we've never bought the master grade that'll come in someday but this is our heavy arms so we're putting this to bed because we built this kit and we've got some time left so we're going to start working on a lego kit uh, asmo says dc to philly in new york for work on uh, celica uh was glorious if i had known there would be a cool pax in philly i bet i've been so eager to move out west yeah i mean it's a it is a cool pax it's still building It'll get even cooler. I think they doubled the size, they said, for this year uh, of the space. So it should be great. But, yeah, we're going to build the Lego set next. Uh, we're building the Lightning Jet. Here it is. This is a 876-piece kit. Um, how do I know this kit is cool? Well, I know it's super cool. Because some pieces aren't even in a bag. Look at that. Uh, is gritty on a panel? This is, These are important questions. So, Sin, I will say this. I have a friend who has a friend who knows people in that PR department. So, I, am, I have put an official request for a gritty appearance at the League of Heels panel. Is that going to happen? I don't fucking know. But I'm trying for America. And, in, and everybody else internationally as well. I'm trying to get gritty at everyone can wrestle. Because I think that would be fucking stupid. In the, best, in, in the way that our shows are very stupid. So I'm trying. I'm going to give it my all. Um, so yeah. So this is a fucking cool looking kit. The new, I, I should watch the Ninja Go movie because there's some neat shit in here. This thing looks rad. And we're going to build it. It's a big old kit. Stranger things have happened. And if you land this, Dan Wrecker will have to get the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> be awesome. Uh, look, there are, there are non heels at League of Heels. I'm not a heel. There are a few. Trin is not a heel. There are, there are some non heels. Uh, Jared Ray, not a heel in his latest incarnation as Jared. Just Jared. Uh, certainly not a heel. There are some non-heels. We've got some stickers, the decals, which we will certainly do our damnedest to apply. Uh, I like that this instruction book came in a bag. That's You don't see that too often. Uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, and I like that. So what we're going to do is these two pieces, these three pieces, I don't know when we're going to use them, so we'll put them aside for now. They just weren't in a bag. We're going to null um, bag one and bag two at the same time. Uh, uh, it is not... Uh, yeah, I don't know. This ship is cool. Uh, I'm going to try to do this away from the mic. 
to benefit y'all. Um, it's always cool when a kit comes with one of these. I have a, like 30 of them now. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna null the two. We won't do probably too much building because nulling, nulling won't take an half hour, but it'll take a little while to null. But we're gonna null two bags at once. And what I'll probably do is always have a couple bags ready to get nulled. Um, and on Saturday, I'll have a bunch of pieces ready to go. Um, but yeah, we'll just separate. We'll build a mini figs, a couple mini figs, it looks like. And we'll do our best to get on top of stuff. Uh, robot, look, if I can get Gritty there, I will special order a... Uh, a shirt that will fit, a run GFB shirt that will fit him. There will be no run. We will, uh, I'll say this. I'm going to tomorrow. We'll have a big announcement. Uh, because there is no run GFB presence at uh, our League of Heels show if for the for our first time. Oh, we've only done two. We won't be selling uh, run GFB shirts. You can still buy them in the store, but in person, we won't have those. We will have two shirts. We have the League of Heels shirt and then a brand new shirt that is very, I promise you, is very dumb and very much worth your time. All right, so we're just going to null. I'm going to put uh, what I think is the parts of uh, figures over here. Uh, and we'll build that later. And then I'm just going to go on color. And we'll just be nulling based on color. That's how it works. Uh, dark gray, d gray, dark gray, um, black, blue. Uh, this kit's going to have a lot of blue in it, clearly. And then just like whatever. Those things go over here. But yeah, just going to quickly null. And then we'll uh, we'll try to get a little building in. But even if this is just that. The nice thing is for me on Thursdays is I don't, uh, I don't move this table out of my bedroom. I move it aside so it's out of the way. But I can do a lot of nulling here. Uh... And I'll just be able to pick it all up on, uh, on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, next time I built, which will be Saturday. Yeah, Robot Crank, I think, I think people are really going to like the dumb, 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 dumb shirt that we made. Uh, I'm very proud of it. I'll say this, the people we normally, uh, use for our, to make it, to make our shirts, we're like, no, we, we're not going to make that shirt. Uh, so that, I don't know if that tells you anything, but we went with a different printer to make it. So hopefully y'all will enjoy it. Ooh, I like this clear. This clear is very cool. Uh, it looks better in the overhead shot than it does in uh, the other. So yeah, so I'm just nulling by color here. Um, these are black and yellow, but I'm gonna put them in yellow. That's clearly that. Uh, nulling is a, I never did it up until I saw a video of people doing it. And I was like, oh, that's probably very helpful. Let's see, yeah, should be good. Sometimes the booklet background is black and it makes it very hard for me to tell the, some of the colors apart. So also that helps with the nulling process is when I know what the colors look like. Lots of minifigs here. They were all in the first two bags, it looks like. So that's cool. Uh, slaps table. This baby can hold so many Lego. Oops, I'm swell. Yeah, oh, uh, I've definitely had instances where I totally boned up... Uh, my uh, my carefully done nulling on this on this stream. I like spent a lot of time getting everything right, and then just like bumped the table and everything slid together. Uh, that sucked. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do this over here. Uh, I like this blue. I think it's fun. I think like I got really sick of black, gray, and gray. Um, as far as uh. Star Wars stuff, so these blue is very much appreciated. Same thing with all the beautiful greens, that teal green and that uh, dragon that we built. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful kit. So I'm, I'm definitely happy to spend some time with some different colors.
that, 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 that. It's over there. Lots of minifig people, parts, some weapons, some blue. Uh, if I have time before Saturday, what I like to do is not only know by color, but then go and like stack like pieces like this. Like I'll just take this and put it right there. Like well, you can't see because my body, but I stack it up like that. And that's easier to find later. I'm not doing that now. Now I'm just doing it by color basically while we chat. Uh... It's kind of a bummer. I feel, uh, I like the feel of my soft run GFB shirt. Yeah, no, uh, run GFB shirts will be available in the future. Um, it's just this one show unplugged. I didn't want to do three shirts and I wanted to do a new one because at, um, East we did three shirts and we did exclusive there. At West we did two shirts and we did, um, the League of Heels logo in one color and run GFB. And since we don't have any Run GFB members at the show, it, it, I was like, this is a chance for us to just do two shirts, which is a little bit more manageable for us, uh, and to really, like, play with what we've got and a chance to kind of take a show off. The Run GFB stuff is still available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash League of Heels for people that want to get that stuff, as, long as, the, as well as the red colorway, because we're doing the blue again. And then at East, we'll do... Another brand new shirt. We'll bring the run GFB back and then we'll do a another version of Lee Hill's uh, shirt, probably a different color that's not red or blue. Uh, we'll pick another color and do that probably. Um, but yeah, it just didn't make sense to do the run GFB thing since we didn't have them there to do the show. And I think the new shirt that I'm going to be debuting tomorrow, we'll talk about tomorrow um, in a video. I think even if you don't know what we are, you might like the shirt. So that's interesting to me is that idea of that. Because we definitely sold some Run GFP shirts to folks that are like, I don't, I don't know what this is, but okay. That looks like a cool shirt. We sold a ton of VHS tapes to people that have never seen us before, which is incredible. I don't know how that works, but it was awesome that people were like yeah you know what i want to buy a fucking vhs tape i'm here at pax this is a stupid purchase here's twenty dollars uh and i hope we converted some people to you know that downloaded or watched this the video and or found a vcr and watched it that way i think we probably converted a few folks and hopefully they'll watch us in the future but that was very funny to people were like yeah this is my exact brand of stupid i'm on board uh, it was very fun for us to, to do that. Uh, and we will have those. Uh, the League of Heels uh, VHS State Volume 1 will be available. Um, Eric Canis is coming. So I'm able to have him bring some VHS tapes for me to sell. So it looks good. Uh, look, I bought the Revenge of Ridges OST on vinyl at PAX and have still yet to buy a record player. Pax is for stupid purchases. That's what I'm talking about. And especially uh, Unplugged, which seems to be a place where people bring money to buy board games. And uh, one would assume that there might be a few people out there who want to buy a VHS tape of a video game wrestling show. It sounds pretty stupid to me. Uh, hey, folks that are just joining us. Uh, we finished our heavy arms earlier uh, today. Uh, earlier in the stream. Right now, I am noling two bags of uh, this, um, the Ninjago movie, Lightning Jet. Lightning, I think, is a faction. I don't know anything about the Ninjago series. I just know that there are mech dragons that fucking are awesome looking. And this jet thing looks pretty cool. And it was 876 pieces and that's a lot of Lego. That's that's the second largest kit I've ever built on the stream. Largest being the uh, 2011 Millennium Falcon uh, build. Not the biggest Millennium Falcon that exists. The second biggest, which is over a thousand pieces. Uh, uh, Sin says, yeah, I have a pile of board games that I realize are too complex for both myself and any person that I know how to play. Yep, that, that'll happen. Uh, you'll buy board games and then you'll realize that your friends only like the easy ones and have no interest in trying that or 
you didn't like it. Which is why I always recommend... The cool thing about uh, PAX East, PAX West, PAX Unplugged, PAX South, all the PAXs, um, is you can try out some games uh, before you buy. Like, there are... You know, there's the rental spots you can go and, and check out uh, games and try to get people together and see if it's something you want to do. Uh, it might not be, you know, not every game, obviously, but... And also the companies that are running, that are selling things there are doing demos. So you can always try to find a place to do a demo. Um, we haven't really announced it uh, out loud, but uh, I'm trying to figure out times throughout the course of PAX Unplugged for those that are going um, uh, that we will do uh, some demos of um, Smack Talk Showdown, which is the card game, the improv card game that we're playing uh, for the, our League of Heels show. We're going to try to do some demos at the League of Heels table, um, schedule depending. But I think it would be a really fun way to like end the day each day or something like that. We're not really sure. Um, still trying to figure that out. But it's something that I think would be kind of cool and I think our fans would appreciate a way to kind of check out the game. Um, and the all the devs are going to be there. So it be kind of cool. That's in the work right now. I have learned, and now Final uh, Fantasy Flight is for looks only. I get that. This is cool. Instead of uh, this being a decal, uh, I'll do the overhead one because the it's a uh, it's just kind of on there, etched on there, or adhered on there. Instead of a uh, navigation thing, um, I'll put that with the dark grays because it's both. It is dark gray. Um, instead of that being a decal, that's kind of cool. Screen print, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And I don't think... I think that's the only one of them like that for this. So that's pretty cool. All right, we're almost done with our basic null. Uh, I like that we have one... Uh, we have some clear, but this is definitely a darker blue clear. That's kind of cool. So we have four different blues because we also have this clear blue. So we have... Yeah, we have four different blues, which is, is cool. I like that. And this weird color that I, I never know what it is but it's not those dark colors it's a different one um yeah we got a lot of little one-off colors in here which is neat so we'll build we'll, we'll finish nulling we'll build some mini fags and then the next stream we'll actually get into the process of building and i'll be able to uh really uh, on my off time i will make this more manageable so i can get at the different pieces and all that uh i often do one bag at a time i'm starting to know two bags at a time. oh here's another piece that is screen printed on that's cool another display i'll put that in the dark grays it's pretty neat uh i found the perfect compromise of prime you, you mean west which i understood what you bet it's totally cool um I spent an irresponsible amount of money, but it was also on dice. Yeah, dice are good. Spending a lot of money on small things, that's pretty helpful. Doesn't take up a lot of room. I think I have enough dice in my life, but, you know, if it was cool enough, I might be interested in more dice. I try to not do that, though. But we'll see. All right, so got this mustard color here we got to put in there. More yellow. More dark brown, dark gray, I should say. Not dark brown. Light gray. Black. This is a one-off color. Yellow and white and black. Great. So we've completed our knolling process. Now we can take all these pieces that look like they're uh, meant for minifigs and build some minifig folks. Um, all right, so let's go to bag one and we'll build a ninja man here. We got to get the angry face that is, does not have a mustache. This guy, oh, we got the, uh, oh, I'm contemplating something face. Hmm. Let's put that on, that on, this on. This body, ninja, 
Ninja. And it goes like this. And then a tooth. Wait, is it a feather tooth? Yeah. Look at that. Cool. So we got our ninja friend. Um, even small things could pile up after a while. Take for someone with a real bad miniature wargaming hobby. Oof, yeah. Uh, I have a nice set of Dice X Auto Spy or something dice, and then convert a leather face Halloween costume I made in a very disturbing latex flesh sack for them. Well, Sin, that's cool and a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, Sin. But cool, but also a lot. All right, so we got a ninja friend. We built a ninja friend here. Put that there. Our minifigs. Uh, now we're going to build this Genghis Khan looking dude here. These pants. This outfit. Rocket backpack. Fu Manchu head. Look at this. Look at this guy's crab helmet. Look at this motherfucker's crab helmet. Look at this one the overhead. Look at this dumb crab man helmet. It's awesome. It's rubber. It rules. Where's this chainsaw? Did I... I didn't see a... I'm going to admit something, folks. There's supposed to be a gray chainsaw piece, and I never saw it in the Noling pro... Oh, here it is. I found it. Never mind. I found it. Uh, this is something to wear to the Red Lobster. I found it because I couldn't find the chainsaw. Also, what's up with this weapon, dude? This is not the first character we've had that has the fish as a holder but this is the first one that we had the fish holder with a saw blade there's another weird dude it's a weird dude minifig that we just made all right let's go jump to bag two um and we got some more friends to make here all right so Uh, guy with facial hair, head, swimmer body, um, these legs, he's got a, uh, cool, I like that his helmet is, uh, so this looks like both a undersea helmet and also kind of like uh, I'll get up close. Kind of like his head is in a big like jellyfish. I'm really into it. Uh, I think it's very cool. And then he's got he's got a fish thing and shoots these. The fish. And then he's also got a gun. Where's the gun? Where is the gun? I see the hammer. I don't see the gun. Hmm. Get the gray pieces here. I know we I know there is a gun in here. I just have to find it. Uh, there it is. It's light gray. I messed up. Uh, and basically how this works is you can put one of these in here and you pop it in like this and then when you press down it shoots out. It's very simple. Pretty straightforward. So that's this dude. This fucking guy. 
And we got one more guy to build. He's got an eye patch and this hat. And then his fish thing has a hammer sticking out of it, which is also very weird. And one of these guys has a chainsaw and one of these guys has a, just a big hammer. Uh, apparently we dropped a little more frames at some point uh, on the stream. And I apologize for that, looking at the number of frames dropped. Um, I will do a complete um, kind of refresh, like flushing of the DNS and all that and modems and all that stuff before the next stream. And so I apologize for for that happening. Um, that was clearly not something I wanted to happen, obviously. Um, this is probably an extra, so we'll go in there. All right, so our our uh, our mini figs are done here. We built all our mini figs. There are, I think, two more mini figs left. Uh, yeah, there are two more mini figs we haven't even built yet because they're in bag three. That's a lot of minifigs. Uh, pretty cool. I might need a bigger bag to keep them all in. Yeah, I'll probably have to get a bigger bag. To... I always have a, one of these bags always ends up being like storage for extra pieces and stuff. But that's too small for that. Uh, so that's going to do it for the stream. I'm going to end a little early. Um, I will, as I said, properly null all of this. And then on Saturday, we'll just get into fucking building. And we'll do it up. Thank you so much for joining me uh, tonight uh, for a build stream. We finished off one kit. We started another. We've got a long ways to go with this kit. We haven't even built anything other than minifigs and doing some knolling, which I'm already moving things around. Uh, but thanks for joining me tonight. Saturday, we're back in a normal Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern until 11 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this has been the Build With Bear Workshop Road. Uh, I hope you have a great Friday as well. Um, I'm going to try to rest my voice tomorrow because I was straining tonight. And I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday or your whatever day it is. Uh, if you let your subscription last, consider um, have a good night as well. Consider subscribing. On Saturday, I will be giving away two Lego sets we built on stream. They're Star Wars kits. They're great. Uh, uh, and I will see you all on Saturday, hopefully. Thank you, Asmo. Thank you, Urbina. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, this was a great stream. We had a good turnout. And uh, as always, uh, I'll probably be building next time you see me. <laughs>